I'm here at the Aylesbury campus of the Buckinghamshire College Group to find out more about apprenticeships. Let's go meet some of those involved. And I'm with Sarah Harding, who's Head of the Workforce Development. And Sarah, for those who don't know, how does an apprenticeship actually work? So, as an apprentice, you will be fully employed by, by the company that you work for. You'll be employed for at least 30 hours a week. You'll come into college for some training. We'll also do training in the workplace with you. 20% of your time will be spent off the job, so you'll be training, you'll be learning, you'll be being coached and mentored, gaining new skills to put towards your apprenticeship. And this is Macaulay, he's doing a professional cookery level 2 apprenticeship. Uh, Macaulay, tell us about the apprenticeship that you're doing, what it involves. So um, I work in the kitchen, I work in the deli, um, so the prep for the deli, um, and then we also have bookings in our restaurant, and we do uh, so set menus and a brandy menu and that sort of stuff. Yeah. And how did you find out about the apprenticeship? I found the apprenticeship on the apprenticeships page on the Bucks Project website. And what about employers who have an apprentice in the workplace? What's the benefit to them? So the benefits to the employer is they can employ a new member of staff, they can give them new skills, they can also offer an apprenticeship to an existing member of staff, so it doesn't always have to be someone new. So someone who's already working with them, if they want to invest in them, offer them the opportunity for training, then they can also do an apprenticeship. And I'm with Emma. She's doing a level three in digital marketing. Is it fair to say that for you, school wasn't the best option, therefore apprenticeship was the most natural progression? I originally started sick form in September, but I just wasn't getting along with it. And I realized that an apprenticeship gave me an opportunity to learn while I was on the job and earn money um, and gain more experience when I, when I leave and I go into the workplace. And what was that like going from school into the workplace so quickly? That's quite a big life adjustment, isn't it? At the start, it was very useful from a marketing point of view because they wanted to know what a student of my age would be looking for to go to a college. So it's very useful um, for me to still be in that school mindset at the start. But now I've come, I've become accustomed to the way that um, the rest of the staff think and learn, and now I'm adapting to the environment really well. And where do students go to do the training? So the training is offered at two of our campuses at Aylesbury and Wickham. We are one of the largest providers of apprentices in the area and if anyone wants more information then they can visit our website which has details of all the apprenticeships and the forthcoming open days. And this is Lewis, he's doing an apprenticeship in joinery. Lewis, if a friend came to you and said I'm thinking about doing an apprenticeship, what would your recommendation be? I'd definitely recommend it. I have actually said to some people before it, consider it as an option because it, there's many ways to go to, to what you want to be doing and this is actually one of the best ones because you gain the experience very early and it's actually a really good experience for later life. And you can find out more about the apprenticeships available by going to the Buckinghamshire College Group website. Thanks.